everybody, I'm Liz and I'm back for a book review Monday. Now, just the other day I finished The Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. This is book one of a duology and as you guys know if you follow my reviews, I absolutely loved her Grisha trilogy so much that I immediately dove into this book. Now, the first two, three chapters, I was really kind of struggling to connect with some of the characters. I really needed the plot to heat up a little bit. But in some of my notes that I made with this book, I was pretty much hooked by about the 80th page and I knew the story was heating up. I was actually getting very interested in the characters. Their backstories were like pulling me into knowing these characters. They have such rich, complicated backstories and you are still learning about their backstories even until the end of the book, which obviously means this book is very character driven, but it's also plot driven. It centers around a band of six miscreants in Ketterdam and basically they are sent on a mission to retrieve this shoe prisoner in Ferda and basically there's this plot with this param drug and oh my goodness lots of things happen and oh my geez I know that this book took me approximately three months to read that being said I never got bored, I never forgot anything, I was immediately placed back into the story as soon as I picked it up again. The only problem is, is I read a lot of books at one sitting, and so I'll put a book down and then I'll pick it up a couple weeks later. And what's nice about this book is every single time I picked it up, I didn't need to go back and refresh my memory because everything stuck with me in this book. Everything was just so phenomenal and interesting when I really got motivated with the story that I didn't need anything else. I just picked it up and I read as much as I could and then as soon as I got back to it, I again read as much as I could. And the last 100 in 50 pages, I could not put this book down. I stayed up very late at night to read it because I wanted to know what happens. And I have to say that, you know, even though it was slow to begin with, that's fine because, you know, some books you just gotta really grasp all these new elements and gather the pages to really be invested in a story. One thing I do have to say is because Lee Bardugo takes a lot of languages from different areas, it was really difficult to know how to pronounce some of the city names and some of the names from the characters and everything like that. And so because I struggled with some pronunciations, I actually scoped out online to find a video that actually pronounces them so I can hear them in my head correctly. And oh my gosh, like I actually found a video of Lee Bardugo herself pronouncing each of the names. So that was really, really cool. And it was so, so helpful during the first part of the book when I'm learning all of these characters and I think that's kind of why the first part of the book was very hard for me to actually grasp. I do have to say if you haven't read this book yet and you plan on reading it, be prepared for some gruesome scenes, some violence and fighting. Obviously, I mean, if you've read the Grisha trilogy, then you kind of know what to expect. And also, there is only really one negative thing I have to say. Because they are centering around breaking out a prisoner from a very heavily locked down facility in Farida, there's a lot of scheming and a lot of plots. And basically, Kaz, he is the leader of this group and he comes up with a lot of ideas. However, Lee Bardugo chooses to pretty much not tell us the plots and those schemes, she would rather just write them out and have you figure out the scheme 
as it's taking place. And sometimes I feel like I just want to hear like a quick idea of what this scheme and plot is going to be, and then I can anticipate whether their scheme actually succeeds, and then I can see where all the downfalls happen and be like, oh no, they messed up here. This doesn't exactly happen with this book. With this book being very, very character driven, you really need to know each character, and they each need to have distinct personalities and everything like that, and Lee Bardugo knows how to write different personalities and different characters. They, she writes them in depth and they're definitely very, very interesting and also seeing how they interact, their relationships, whether they're good or bad or growing into something a little bit more is very interesting and I can say this now, I'm already reading the second book and oh, I am really, really excited. So I do have to say that my favorite character absolutely in this book series is by far Inej. Her introduction just made me need to know more about her and then learning about her backstory and she's so tough and she has such a good heart and everything about her made me fall in love with her and just where she gets to by the end of this book. Oh my gosh, guys, I need, need to know everything in the Crooked Kingdom ASAP because if you've read this, you know. If you don't know, read it and then we'll talk about it because, whoa, my goodness, I, I need more of an edge in my life. She, she's amazing. I really love the story. I really had fun reading it and I just can't wait to continue on with the series and read more of Lee Bardugo's work. I feel like she is a phenomenal writer and I just really want to eat up everything she writes because I feel like she knows how to write a plot and characters and backstories and put it all together in this cohesive novel and it's just so great. So there is my review for Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Please let me know in the comments down below if you want to get into more of the spoiler aspects of the story because I try to keep my reviews spoiler free. Without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching and I would love for you guys to stick around and just join the conversation with me. Until next time, goodbye!